Hello reptile lovers and welcome back to our channel. My name is Sven. This is Even. Hello. Down there is Woody. And today we want to talk about the whole ventilation system of this enclosure build. I think it's an interesting part. Stay tuned. And for all of you who don't know what this channel is all about, this is a step-by-step -step build series of a big monitor lizard enclosure. And if you're interested in what we did in the past, click in our playlist. And if you like this kind of content, content, give us a thumbs up, click the uh, subscribe button. Okay, I think let's go. Good. Uh, this build, for all of you who watch this channel, you already know we have a mechanical uh, ventilation system and the normal uh, ventilation system with this with this mesh parts and why we choose this way because of the three side glass build we wanted to recycle most of the heat or better I don't want to waste so much heat so what did I do here uh, I have the top of the enclosure and there is no no ventilation mesh it's just a big box and how does this work i have a, a ventilation hose here and if we check out the top of the enclosure you see all here's a big box for all the cables and the ballast of the lightning system it's nice and toasty in here and i have a the ventilator is here and the ventilator sucks all the warm air from the ballast and everything in here and press it down into the enclosure. And I can, I can change the parameters if I have, or in the summertime, when it's really warm in here, I can open this box like this and the ventilator suck the air out of the room and in the winter time I can close it like this and I get preheated warm air out of this, cha uh, of this uh, cable box and it sucks the normal air out over there. So I have the choice of preheated air or normal air. That's the first part I can change. So what happened then? The air is coming into this box and over, like I said, the box is closed and on the top of this box is like normal is a really warm and really dry air. And this air will or get sucked from this ventilator in a pipe behind those tree and I have to switch sides one moment. For all of you, or for, for these people who don't know how I built this, there are a lot of videos how I built this. There is a pipe behind and the warm dry air is getting behind this tree. And then that's a really interesting part. Please press the video Bioactive Substrate 2.0 there is the, a whole free space uh, under this substrate. And the warm air get pressed below the substrate. And I have, I, I think you won't see it. I have a pipe here and a pipe over there. And the warm air is getting below the substrate and then out of this pipes. So why did I do this? It's all about recycling. Uh, over here, warm and hot, or hot and dry air goes down and uh, the air is taking all the moisture down there from the substrate. So it will take it with it and then press the warm or medium warm and um, humid air out of this hoses. 
So this is the next um, recycling part. And the warm air takes the humidity from the bottom and this prevents mold. This is a big step. So this is my, I call it forced uh, ventilation system. Then I have a few more. I have, uh, for all of you who watch it, they know it. There is, I think you can't see it. There is an entrance of a, of a cave. The cave is below this pond. And down here, I don't think that you can see it. There is this hole. And because of the heat in here, because of the heat of the pond, I will build in another ventilation mesh here. This is the next ventilation part. And finally, uh, we have another one. In my last video, I showed how to build in those sliding glass doors. And because of this sliding glass doors is between here, you have a big gap and I have the same on the other side because we have two sliding doors. I have a big gap here. So this will help to ventilate this terrarium. And finally, my, my last build is out of this aluminum sheet. I angled it, tried to angle it, and I built this on this side. Let us have a look. I built in one here, and I built one over there. So, on what this thing does, let us have a look. I can, well, let us have a look, it's angled and it's screwed in. And if you see here, you can close the glass door. It's really tight in here. And I can choose if I want to, to open it very wide, or in the winter time, I can close it like this and I have a really small gap here and in the summertime I have a really big thing and the air can circulate through the whole enclosure from this side to this side. So and I have, I tested it right now for a few weeks. The temperature in here is all around 28 degrees uh, Celsius. Uh, on the warm side, it's 40, 43, and the humidity is about between 60 and 80 to 90 percent. And I, I don't have a problem with foggy windows or whatever. So I think this ventilation system seems to work perfect. Okay, that's it for today. Okay, that was the video about the ventilation system. I think, or oh, I know it, it works fine. I can change the parameters of this ventilation system. I'm pretty happy with it. There will be a lot more videos to come. If you like this kind of content, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, maybe watch our previous videos. Yes, and now we have to wait uh, for some big branches over there because uh, you know this side will be a whole jungle but it's really difficult to get those uh, branches uh, in the right length. Um, this will be another video of planting and okay I think stay safe and best wishes from Germany. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>